Hello everybody, Targal here and welcome back to another episode of Galactic Science. This is exactly where I had my outro last episode. I did not leave the area, nothing. Uh, I still got my two blueies with me. And you guys were really awesome again in the comments and gave me a bunch of tips. The first one and most important I think is... Ooh, parachute. Um, you guys told me that there is the dimensional anchor. I have no idea how I missed that one. I've used it many times before, and I could have sworn that I searched for anchor. Maybe I just searched for chunk or loader, and that's why this one didn't come up. But we gotta make one of these um, before we actually get really busy mining up here. But what I wanna do is, I wanna get started and... Is that the earth up there? But look how small it is. I wanna walk around a little bit, or fly, whatever. And then we're actually gonna... What, what, what's happening here? What was that? Something hold me? Oh yeah, and... Did, did we say this last episode? I think we did. I think I killed a skeleton, right? Last episode and it gave me a redstone or something. That was really weird. I wanna see if I take fall damage. Yes, I just won. Yeah, the, you guys were telling me a lot about this jetpack also in the comments that it's super bad. And I have to agree. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to make a glider. Which I am not looking forward to because of the amount of work it was to make that leather. Oh, that's a red sliming egg. Alright, hatch. And I'll just get you two. What are you gonna need to eat? <laughs> Comparator. Sure, you eat comparators, weirdo. Um... So I just want to dig around a little bit and see. I was actually kind of hoping that there's maybe meteors, but I think all these things that I'm looking at, are they're just um, these slimelings here. But anyway, I, I'm, once this oxygen here is kind of depleted, I want to um, go back to the moon and then put down the dimensional anchor and so on and then prepare a little more for a long mining session up here. I want to get a lot of mining done. Because we, I want a lot of this dash ore, and I'm gonna guess I'm gonna have to mine a lot. So how do I change this pick again? I forgot. What was the key binding for that? To make it the the big one, the big hole one. That is from what mod again? Um, Router reborn. Let's see if I can find that real quick. Uh, da -da, in the... Yes. Hmm. What was that key binding? Let's see if I can find it real quick without having to cut. Drinking helmet, map, wiki, wrench. This one, I think this one might be it here. Let's see real quick. Let's set this to V. No, does it tell me on the pick? Oh, I think it was just shift right click. I got it. One by one, five by five. And I kind of just want to dig in here. And see if there's anything in here of interest or if I'm gonna need to dig down mostly. Wait a second. Five by five. Oh, I'm gonna have to hit one above me. I get it. All right, there doesn't seem to be anything in this. So I'm probably gonna have to dig down. And we're gonna do this right there. We're just gonna start stepping down. So that's one, two, three. So I'm always gonna have to go one away from the edge so I can make a nice tunnel down. And I'm gonna have to, not there, here. Start placing some torches. And yeah, let me go ahead and dig down here and see if I find any ore. Because I'm really interested in that. And then we'll go from there. I found the first ore. Iron ore. Alright, I have no idea how much ore is on this planet, by the way. If if that's if you know if if it's very scarce or if it's abundant and I just gotta find the right place if there's cave systems I have no idea I am at Y fifty three okay so that's quite far down to find the first ore oops that's not what I wanted and you guys can see I am super full already so I think that we're gonna need to make a dev null which I can't make here this actually looks pretty cool by itself. I kind of dig this. Is there something else we can do with this usage? We can make stairs. Can I smelt this back in? Oh, I gotta go here. Yep, I can make Marstone. 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 
Can I make something with... No way. We can save Marsh Stone? To get Dash Ore? What a 1% chance. Oh man, we're gonna have to smelt a lot. <laughs> Is there anything else we can do? Usage. The surface rock, the same, 1%. And usage for this, also 1%. Okay, um, but there's no saving the cobble, right? Okay, so the cobble is gonna go in a dev null. And oh, I did the same thing again. I wanted to switch back to 5x5. Five five. Doesn't work now. Why are you not working? Because I gotta press shift. Oh, there's something else. What do we got? Copper ore. Oh, check it out. We got dash. Nice. And I don't need you. Give me that dash. That's all I want. Most importantly. Oh, okay. So there seems to be more ore here. So that is good to know. I think I'm actually going to, you know, be all professional here soon when I go mine. And, but I think it is time for us. Oops. Wait, I don't understand this jetpack. I, what is happening? I thought that last episode it was double tap. To go up. So weird, this jetpack. Any more up here? Yes. So seriously, how do you fly with this thing? That is such a bummer that this thing is not properly working. But anyway, so did I leave? Did I get the? I got iron, but I did not get the copper. Where where, where did that copper drop? Oh, there it is. All right. I want to take that with me too. So we're going to leave yeah, just another stack of this and another stack of this. There we go. Now I got it. Let's get a few more of these. Oh, what is this? This is tin. Okay. So let's get the tin. Maybe. There we go. And then we're going to have to start uh, like uh, some auto smelting process. That shouldn't be any problem because I do want to start sifting this spot. I don't want to waste any more time. I think it is, these guys are following me everywhere. I wonder what's going to happen. Oh, something now. Oh, that was the rotten flesh. I wonder what's going to happen when I leave the planet and then come back. If they're going to be here or not. It's going to be interesting to see. How much dash or did I get 16? Let's see here. One second. Um, the receiver because i was also wanting to look into if we can possibly set up rf tools so i only need to take the rocket one more time machine whoa oh man i gotta pay more attention i can make more ender pearls so we can make just two receivers and then let's see here the charged order this guy right here or ender pearls, so I can make two of these. One to back to the moon and one to come up here. So that's what we're also gonna do when we get back to the moon. We need to I cannot jump anymore, guys. I don't know what this is. This doesn't make any sense to me. Hmm. Gonna have to look into this gravity suit if we can make this maybe soon. Um But anyway, so we make this receiver, we make the Oh Oh my, I need to get off this planet. Before everybody that is once my skin comes out to play. Get up there. Come on. Jump. Stupid jetpack. Seriously, how does this work? Oh yeah, we're taking off from up here. <laughs> oh, oh. No damage. Good. Hopefully I'm somewhat safe up here. Let's put this down. Hey, you guys make sure you don't stand in the way. When I take off, so you don't take any, you know, flame damage or whatever. So that is built. Put the rocket down. Now I need to get the good stuff out. I need the sterling generator. Ooh, I can put stuff in here. And get this out of my inventory. So I don't need to fiddle around with it anymore. And we're gonna need the node, this, that, and also the fuel. I don't want to use. Them. I wonder if I can use the. I think it only used like two buckets or something, like super little. 
So what do we got here? That's the fuel loader. So let's put the fuel loader right there. I can break this, I think. No, nope. let's take these two out just so I have them on me. So I don't need to get in here anymore. Oh, I need some of this. All right, break it. Maybe. Am I still set to five by five? I want to make sure not that I break everything around me on top of that. That is one tough chest. <laughs> um, this is fuel input and this is power. Uh, oops, wrong one. Sterling generator, go there and put the cable and... Oh, it's if fueling. So can I put this in here? Oh, sweet. And I think it's already fueling it. Yep. Need that back. That. I have no idea. Here, have some fuel. Let's look in here for a second. F to open inventory. Okay, this might actually fill all the way. Like I said, it doesn't need much fuel, this rocket. Um, I think like two buckets. It's it's really, really... This Now it's green. Does that mean... And we had some left over when we landed. This is perfect. I think I'm always just going to take these instead of these fuel tanks. Perfect. All right, so... Let's take this stuff down again, maybe, if I can see. And we are good to go. We're going home. Give me that. Am I forgetting something else? I don't think so. Yes, and we're out of here. Let's go back home, and I'll meet you when we are entering the moon. All right, we're almost there. There we go. We're out of here. Oh, world. I want to go here so bad. <laughs> Um, overworld, click again to zoom because the moon is there, right? Yes, that's what we need. We want to go to the moon and launch. And now I'm really hoping just that I know I need to. I'm holding space already. Um, I'm really hoping that we're landing right where we took off inside of our base. That would be super cool just to have this lander. Am I moving at all? Oh yeah, there we go. I see I see darkness approaching. Graphics are amazing. Just black. <laughs> Can we see something? There we go. I Oh my god. Where is my base? Um okay. Okay, thanks for all the fish. Uh, this sucks. Being here, I'd like to get my rocket, please. Ah! Oh, oh my God! Why am I always landing at night? This sucks. Uh, oh man, food. With a non-functioning jetpack that doesn't do anything. It, oh my goodness. Oh yeah, guys. Um, we're back on the moon and I have no idea where I'm at. Fighting a horde of zombies. Where's my lander? There it is. Oh. You sneaky little thing. Get out of here. You get out of here too. Leave me alone. I'm also running low on oxygen. Yeah. They're sneaky little things. Ninjas! I wish this was brighter for you guys. Guess I can put down a torch. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? You want some of this? I, I can get to him. Because this jetpack... I gotta stop complaining about this jetpack, creeper. Big hole, creeper. <laughs> so yeah, this is gonna be exciting here. I'm gonna be running around for 10 minutes. Trying to wait until it becomes morning or whatever and hopefully not run of oxygen or die, you know. Oh, this is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. All right, shoot this. Yeah, go after him. Go, go get the skeleton. Go. Find me? No. Oh, I'm so happy I got this on camera, guys. 
You stop. Come down, get a crit. Stop. This is so annoying. <laughs> How are you supposed to kill skeletons on this planet? Like that. Keep them up in the air. Alright, there's one. Now let me get to my ship. Get out of my way. Everybody, get out of my way. I'm, I'm mad. It's on. It's on. Put some lamps down. And eat some food. Well, at least the armor is pretty good. I'm not taking too much damage. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't be underneath him. So now that the jetpack functions again. I don't know how the thing works, guys, seriously. It's like if I look down. Oh, is that what you actually need to do? Ah, so I need to look down and then I jump. Ooh, I can get the stuff out. Give me, give me stuff. That too. We're, we're off. I have no idea where to go. Um, coordinates. 200 by 100. All right. Which way? I'm going to guess we need to go. Let's go this way. Yes, there's the base. So I get it. It's because I ran away from where we landed on Mars, guys. Um, and that caused me to probably take the same coordinates that we took off from on Mars to land on the moon. So that is definitely something, well, we only have to worry about it probably never. Because I'm making these um, RF tools receivers and I know how the jetpack works now. So if you look down and press ta uh, space... You get a little uh, hover, and when you go more towards the horizon, you just get less boost, and I can gently land. Boom, and it costs five hearts. Nice one. We're home, guys. I, I feel really good about that. Woohoo, we're home. Now, first thing I want to do real quick is, well, actually, first thing we're going to do is refuel our oxygen. So I don't need to worry about this for a few minutes. And I wanted to try out real quick if I can put these canisters directly in the thing. Yes, that fills them. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. I think I might have another one or two over here. Let's check. Not in here. In here. Uh, one with oil. Okay. Can I possibly empty this? Uh, where am I going? Uh, it's over here. Can I empty this in? Ooh, yes, nice. And now I can empty or make another one with fuel. So now we have three with fuel. That's good. Um, all right, guys. Let me get some stuff together to craft these receivers and the uh, dimensional receiver and so on. Excuse me. Got a hiccup out of nowhere. But I also want to start smelting for these. So two receivers, two porters. And then we're going to need some power for up there to run the receiver. So check it out, guys. Thorgal ran out of oxygen. I died the first time. I was in here and pressed... I thought I pressed escape when I walked away from the from the computer. And uh, my AFK got extended a little bit. And when I came back, I was dead. So I had my first death. Eh, luckily, it was right there. So I didn't lose any of my stuff. But now we got two quests with unclaimed rewards. I want to see what we get here now. We get this stuff here. Okay. Well, I am going to claim it just so we actually have this right here. Green, 100%. So that's actually quite cool. Um, well, it's okay. <laughs> Not too bad to die. Um, and, oh boy, I think I might actually leave this stuff here. In my ender chest. I might even take another one of these with me. Yeah, let's put this in the ender chest over there. I call it an ender chest. I know it's a dimensional chest, but that's okay. So we'll put that up there. A little more oxygen. Who knows if I'll ever need that or not. And yeah, so. And I also cooked up a bunch of this um, smooth marsh stone here. 
And I think two stacks went through so far, and I just put four more stacks when I got back, and from two stacks we got one dash ore. So yeah, it's okay, I'll just keep it going, and I think I'm gonna keep those two, possibly use them with a QED, I think that would be our best bet. But I got everything else ready, I believe, we're gonna build the dimensional anchor. Um, yep, let's build that one first. And I forgot that you cannot shift click in this thing here, so I'm gonna switch to the regular crafting table here in a second. So we got this guy. And if I'm not mistaken, this doesn't need any power. Ooh, what? What is this? I'm not sure what that is. Huh. Okay, but uh, we can only load a... Th I think it's a 3x3. Three three. Let's put this guy down. All right. What? Excuse me. Now it's a workbench. Let's put it down right there. Oh, we can make this bigger. Yeah, let's make it a 5x5. Five five. Uh, heck, 7x7. Seven seven. Who cares? We're the only people here. So, I said owner to server. I said owner to... I don't know what that means. But hopefully this is not chunk loaded. And we won't have that problem anymore when we go to Mars to send our oxygen tanks back. And next, I want to make two capacitor banks. And... I'm gonna need eight of these. Bada bing, bada bang. And I should have the rest. There we go. I got two. Oh, what? Okay. Oh, for a second, I thought it said three. And then, like I said, I wanna make matter receivers. And these are actually cheap, as we found out earlier. So, heck, I'm just gonna make three. So in case there's another place later on that I want to put down something temporary or whatever, so I'm going to need another one of these, I just have another spare with me, right? I think that makes sense. Let's make the... Oh, I got to make the ender pearls. I totally forgot about that. Um, I'm going to need... I want to make three of these, so that's nine. Oh, and these are 12, so I need... Holy shnikes, 21 ender pearls. I don't think... Have I harvested my ender pearls? I don't think so. Not in a while. Or ender pearl. It's not even ready. <laughs> um, let's see. I think I have one in this chest, possibly. Two. So I need to make 19 more. And the recipe to make this... Asteroid. Interesting. What's this stuff here? Calcium carbonate and Einsteinium. So what did I say? I needed 19 more. I don't think we'll have enough for that. Yeah, I can only make eight. But that is enough for... Hmm. Can we make... An Ender Lily... Just search for Lily. This thing here. Can we possibly make these? I think I checked that before. No. Hmm. What am I going to do if I cannot make enough right now? So that means I need to take the rocket back up until I figure out a way on how to get ender pearls or more. I can only make... How do you actually make Einsteinium? Let's, let's check this up real quick. Um, from something. Ender pearls, very funny. Well, everything that... Oh. Soul sand, 20%. Endstone, 80%. That is not bad. Let's see here real quick. Um, the recipe for end stone. Um, I forgot now. That was... Ooh, I think I have all of this. Lithium. Uh, not here. And not here. But I remember making some. I th Yeah, of course. The one that is up there. Um, there might be another one in here. No. The thing is something. It was, I believe... It was in the... Did I not make that in the Crucible? I think there's a way to make it in the Crucible. Of course we can get endstone from dumping a piece of glowstone into lava. But this is super slow. I'm not sure why this is taking. It's coming from there. It should not take that long. That is weird. But anyway, that is how I'm going to get the endstone to break it down. And let's see here. Let's get 10 real quick. If this doesn't take too long. 
And then I was thinking of, I'm also going to need to make that calcium carbonate something. Um, and I looked through the recipes and, you know, trying to figure out where you get something from is not as easy in mine, Kim, I have to say. But calcium, I'm going to say bones. And actually, let's put this in here to check what it gives us. Hydroxylapatite. But it starts with CA, which is calcium. So that is perfect. That should work. And I don't need this right now. Let's get our star out so we can keep up with the power. And this is the decomposer. Ooh, lots of stuff in here. But let's go ahead and throw this in here and see. I got one Einsteinium. All right, so I can make more of this. I just want to show you guys how I can make it. And then I'm going to... Ooh, I got to put this in the chest right away. Or it goes bye-bye or something. And I'm going to clean this out in a second. Um, let's take... Hmm. You know what? Give me one moment here. I think this one is quite empty. Let me just put this stuff in here real quick. Um, and then I have some room. And I'm actually going to put this guy right here. One of these basic capacitor banks. I am going to put... I'm going to... Oh, I got to turn on the magnet again. Give me that. And give me that. And I'm going to put this yeah, right in here. Yes, that should work. And now we can connect this again like this. And this should be charging now because I wanted to check. Let me turn off the output for a moment. So this actually can charge. And you guys told me that I can... Yeah, check this out. I can charge this. That is cool. Can I also charge the jetpack? No. It shows durability 430 or 480. That might be from getting hit. So I don't think we're going to have to um, recharge that. But once this one is full, I'm going to place the other one because we're taking one of these with us. So when I'm down and mining, I can uh, charge my pick as many times as I want. It felt like an eternity, guys, getting these Einsteiniums here. Um, it was crazy. I think I put three stacks of, uh, about three stacks of endstone through the chemical decomposer to get um, 17 of them. It was bonkers. Uh, making the calcium carbonate wasn't too hard. Um, it was bones and then C and O to C you get from carbon like coal and so on and CO3. So that was actually quite easy to make here. But getting this uh, Einsteinium took forever. And I also got this stuff here. Francium is also radioactive. And I got plutonium. So this one is nice. I hope that I can turn this into actual plutonium. Or nuclear craft later. It doesn't look like it. Ah, uh, it would have been nice. But anyway, let's go ahead and make ourselves a bunch of ender pearls. Here we go. So we can finally get back to Mars. What is that, 13? I ran out of power. Aye, aye, aye. Hurry up, because I don't want this thing to run out of timer. How much timer do we have left? Hour and 11. Okay. So how many did that make? 16. And I said I needed 19. Yes. 12. Oh, there's two right there. Ooh, that scared me. There we go. 18. Yeah, we need 21 altogether, I believe. Yes. So, there's another one. How much does it take? 30,000 per ender pearl. Um, okay, while we wait for this real quick, there's two other things I want to make. And that is, number one is, I want to make a, a dev null. And we're going to fill this up right now with this cobblestone. The way you do is you just shift right click and then you put the cobblestone in here. And now every other cobblestone that I pick up, you see, automatically goes into that dev null. And when that is full, it's actually going to void the rest. So I'm not going to fill up my inventory like crazy um, when I am going to start my big mining session up there. I also wanted to make a golden bag of holding. I just feel like having a golden bag of holding so I can put stuff in here easily. Like, for example, this stuff and whatever else we're going to have in the... In the future and also you possibly some of the ore you know because i want to spend a lot of time there i want to get a lot of stuff together um if possible so now let's see one two 
All right, that is all that we needed. I turn this off for now. We don't need anything else. And now we can make our uh, RF tool stuff. So we need three of these. Three. And then I wanted to make three of these. Awesome. Very cool. We got them all. Now let me see here. I made... Styling device. Styling device. All right, we got everything else. So let's delete this here. And let me put this stuff. I actually put this away in just a second. Um, ooh, why did I close that up? Go ahead. I ran power down here from this one. It's full, by the way, as well as this one is also full. And I made extra torches and so on. But let's put our first receiver right there. And I'm going to call that moon base. Okay. And then we're going to take one of these charge porters and shift right click on this. And you see charge porter target is set to one. And of course, we need to also charge these three. Very slowly. Wait, they only hold 100,000, I thought, right? Yeah, it should charge them nice and fast. And right here, we just see target one. I could name them in an anvil, but I know one is moon. Two is going to be Mars. And then the last one we're going to keep, like I said, if I ever find something else or maybe for the next planet. You know, it's just something I can get to back quickly. There's this one. Right. So now let me just show you in case you're not familiar with this. I can be anywhere, other dimension, whatever. If I right click this one, it teleports me right here to this place. And it costs a lot more RF when you come from other dimensions, by the way. That thing is pretty much a one time use, and then you need to charge it when you are going interdimension. And okay, so we got this. I think. Um, I have everything because I'm going to be able to get back quickly now with the RF tools receivers, um, which means that if I forget something or whatever, I can just come back and pick it up, you know, or something goes wrong with a chunk loader. Hopefully not, but you never know. So let me empty this here real quick, just so I'm ready. This, that, that, and lapis. Okay. Um, let me see here. <laughs> There's one thing I got to make sure to take the chest out. I'm going to put the golden bag of holding in here for the time being. And that's it. That's all we need. And now we're going back to Mars and I'm going to start my mining session. I already filled it up. The rocket. And I got the chest. Yeah, that's it. We're going. Hopefully I didn't forget something and I did write down the coordinates and as soon as we are on Mars, I am going to mark that exact spot right here on Mars. So if I ever want to take the rocket back or something like that, I can make it so I come down exactly in the spot, not outside of the base anymore. So I don't need to worry about day and night times, right? And I'm pretty sure that when I get to Mars now, it's going to be day and night time again. I could bet anything. I just landed a minute ago over there. This is the spot that I told you guys that would line up exactly with our launch pad that we took off from. And it's just turning night, so I actually don't want to stay here. And I put down um, the capacitor bank here with the um, Stirling generator to charge it back up because this one needed 100,000 RF. They also need to be um, charged, and I called it Mars Base. And now we can take out this one right here. Shift right click this one. And now it's set to two. And now I can go back home because it's nighttime. So I don't really want to, I don't have any fortification here yet or anything. I'd like to, let me show you guys what I'm think on doing. Okay. Um, so like right here, we're going to have an outpost probably. Something like that. I don't know how much time we need to spend on here. But I was thinking of not even going far away. Like to here. And then simply digging down. In a 5x5. Five five, all the way down to. Guessing there's going to be bedrock. And then see you know. What kind of uh, ores and so on. I can expose. I want to put time. Oh. And I need my dev null. So let's put this out. This, this again. Good. See, it sucked it all up, so I don't need to worry about this. I guess... Ooh, got here. 
Were you a cave system? Sure are. Uh oh. Baddies. Can you come to me? Please? I don't want to go up there. All right, light. So you guys can see. I don't know if cave systems are any good. Oh, wow. Here. Big drop down there. Eh, why not? Even with the gravity, still got to be careful. You know, because we can still take fall damage. All right, so there is some ore. Anyway, um, like I said, I want to dig down in 5x5s five five all the way down to bedrock. And then just come back up and dig another one next to it. So we're pretty much just, you know, quarrying from the top to the bottom. And then I'm hoping that eventually I'm going to see like a pattern of what depth would be the best to mine and so on. But I'm going to spend a lot of time mining now, guys. Um, because I'm going to get my hands on a lot of this dash ore. Because we need that for... All kinds of things, like all the Ender IO items and so on. And, well, as long as I'm safe, I'm not even going to go back home. Maybe I can just spend my time down here in this uh, cave system until morning. And then maybe, like I said, work on a little bit of a fortification and I'll be back when I have a bunch of ore collected. So I got back to the moon all safe and sound. Um, just one little gripe I had. I died once. And luckily it wasn't too far. When, when I died, I actually respawned on Mars. So that was convenient because I could have just taken out the um, spare oxygen stuff and so on that we have in here. So it's really good to have this here with me. Um, and I died to fall damage from this jetpack. I, I was flying. I was flying all the way up out of the hole. And then, you know, I leveled out nice and soft. Like, you know, here you can... You can, when you look further to the horizon, you have m less boost going up. And I sat down really gently and died. Um, I don't know, the, 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 this jetpack, the, the fall damage definitely is, is kind of weird, however this works. Um, so I'm going to have to look into, like, what kind of these boots here. I was looking through it briefly, but couldn't find anything. Like, I checked the dark boots, for example. You can only uh, empower them and then add flippers. Like in um, Infinity, I have that jump added, which then reduces all fall damage. So that doesn't work. And I don't know if the Battlesuit boots, for example, reduce it. Otherwise, we might have to check out these gravity boots. What does this actually take to make? Oh, yeah, I need depleted nether stars. I'm not sure how you make these. Yet. Is there a recipe? No. The usable nether star... Created when a star is born. I've seen that we get one or something like that as a quest reward, but I'm going to have to see if maybe we can make them with mine cam. Who knows? Um, but yeah, maybe these gravity boots here uh, will stop us from fall damage. If you guys know what other boots here, like these hover boots or something, if there are any boots that protect us from fall damage, please let me know down in the comments. I'd really like to know. Because I don't really want to have to mess with a glider every time I want to land. Because uh, if you guys probably know, sometimes a glider doesn't open. And if you do it, you know, last second, it might be too late. It's flat. I also, oh yeah, here, check out. This is all the loots I got. Um, over four stacks of iron, a little bit over a stack of tin, almost two stacks of copper, and tons of dash. Um, when I was going around in this big cave room, it kept going. There was two other ones. This was a huge area, and I only went after dash after a while. So we got tons of this stuff now. And... Yes. So, and I also set up this auto smelting area here. Just you put stuff in this chest. Right now, I took out seven stacks of iron to keep going. Goes in the furnace and then comes out down here. You know, very simple. It also gets fed from the coal behind it here. So I don't need to constantly switch anymore. I can put more things in there. For example, if I want to make more of this moon, uh, Mars rock or something, I can easily automate this. So. We don't have any time left in this episode, so I don't want to really get started on something else, even though I have a super cool idea for next episode that I don't want to spoil. I think it's going to be fun. Um, oh, it finally grew. It just must have grown. Is it grown? Yes, mature. And again, not a second seat. Bummer. But I wanted to see who Paul is. I, I, I want to see Paul. 
I figured we can do this here as the last act in today's episode. Welcome Paul to the family and see if he's gonna die because there's no oxygen. Um, but we have two of them. So let's see who Paul is. Paul, Paul is very big and dying. No, no. Oh. I can't break this block. Well, Paul, I would I would love to meet you. <laughs> oh man, I got luckily I have a second Paul. So let's get the second Paul out. He definitely suffocating with his head in the wall. That sucks. <laughs> let's sort this here. There we go. And let's see if the second one maybe will stay. That was a really big end piece. Holy shnikes. What did she give me? A domino special and a pumpkin pie. That's very nice of you, Paul. All right, I want to place him right here. Hey, Paul, how's it going? Man, Paul, you are... <laughs> oh, Paul is dying. Paul is suffocating, I think, yes. Um, can I make a golden lasso? I could. Am I going to get this done in time? Do I want to... Yes, we are. Let's let's save Paul until we have because I don't know if I'm gonna get another one. Um, the string. What else? Quick. Oh, nuggets. Never mind. We'll need nuggets. I think I got nuggets. Perfect for them. And where's my? I don't have any blaze powder. What? I don't have any blaze powder at all. Yeah. No. Sorry, Paul. You gonna you gonna leave us also? It's okay. I'm sure we don't need him. Um, but I'm gonna have a domino special right now. Oh, that's delicious. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the trip up to Mars. It's a very cool planet. Definitely uh, lots of ore there that if I need more dash, it shouldn't be that hard to find it, especially when we set up some automatic uh, a quarry, a end quarry or something like that. And next episode, like I said, we're gonna do something a little bit different that I haven't seen anybody else do. So, but I don't want to spoil it. And that is it for today. Hope you enjoyed the episode. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, stay safe, and bye-bye.